Friends, welcome back to the Home Slice. Today we have another installment in our chopping tournament. This is a tournament that measures the edge retention and sort of hard use chopping tasks 90 minutes at a time. The knife that holds its edge best, as measured by a best sharpness measuring machine, proceeds on to the next bracket. Now, so far, if you haven't caught it, we've had the Falcon Even A1, which headed off against the Top's Silent Hero. We've had the K-Bar Becker BK7, which actually competed against a $4 cleaver that I bought at Kmart, which was a really funny test if you haven't checked it out. And most recently, we have seen the Top's Tahoma Field Knife versus the Cold Steel Recon Scout. Now today, I have another it's kind of funny episode with you, but I'm really interested to see what the results are like. Today I am taking my trusty Condor Scout hatchet. Now this is a hatchet that I reprofiled myself on a belt sander, and I have sharpened this thing down. It is registering at 116 grams on the best machine, which is ridiculous. If I had any hair left, I could show you. It's just spraying it off. Oh yeah, hair is just no match for this. And it is really gliding through paper quite easily. It's got a little bit of oxidation on the edge, although I oiled it. I'm sure that will strip off immediately with use, but a very, a beautiful edge. Gliding push cuts on an ax, which is fun. I've reprofiled this thing to be fairly thin behind the edge for an X, and hopefully I haven't gone too, too far, but I'm really excited. Okay. Up against the Condor Scout X, we have the Elephant King Cleaver. <laughs> this is like, whoops. This is like a massive, huge, bigger than my face cleaver that my friend Drew loaned to me for this test. And it says right on it, um, made from 1810 stainless steel. So for all of you husk knives lovers out there, <laughs> if there are any, this is your stuff. This is the pot metal that husk knives are made out of. So it'll be really interesting. This is a lot thicker behind the edge than the last cleaver that I tested, but still quite thin overall, but a thicker edge. Oh, I should test that behind the edge thickness. And this thing was really difficult to sharpen, but it did get down to an, a semi-admirable 251 best. It's not really wanting to push cut, but it will slice quite, quite nicely, quite easily. So I think that's about as good as we're gonna get on this pot metal. Let me grab the behind the edge thickness gauge and we'll check these guys out. Okay, so the enormous Elephant King cleaver. I'm actually excited to test this because the last cleaver that I got at Kmart was probably made of the same metal and it did awesome, but the edge bent. And so I'm excited to have like a homogenous metal like this, but with a slightly thicker edge. Okay, so let's check and see what we're running for BTE thickness here. Okay, so the Elephant King cleaver is just shy of 50 thousandths of an inch behind the edge, which is the same actually as the Cold Steel Recon Scout was measuring, and in that knife, the behind the edge thickness actually, I think, helped it not to chip or sustain significant damage. So we'll have to see how that turns out. Let's check the Condor. Okay, so the Condor is, the gauge is just slipping past the shoulder of the edge at 31 thousandths. 
I think it's right around 30 thousandths of an inch behind the edge. So much thinner behind the edge, but a lot more beef behind, just behind in the grind. So we'll see how those stack up against each other. Much better best score here, but the Kmart cleaver threw us some surprises. I need to consolidate this woolly nightshade that we've cut down into some burn piles. It's really good timing, I'm excited. We gotta get it done before there's actually a burn ban on or before I have to register to have a slash burning. And it's a great day to test the cleaver and the condor axe. I'm gonna do cleaver first because I assume it's gonna be less nice. But it's also nice because I can wear these like nitrile dipped gloves which have a bit more grip. This is not the most ideal handle. It's maybe a bit slippery, although it does have some nice flair. Because none of this stuff is real spiky. It's more tree-like. Anyway, I have no idea how I'm gonna tackle all of this. There's so much uh, around here, as you'll see. I guess I could swing you around. But I come out to do testing with smaller knives and we chop down some of the small stuff out here. And then I'll come in with a team in the afternoon with axes, machetes, saws, and fell some of the other stuff. So there's just hundreds and hundreds of sort of dead woolly nightshades felled around here. So I don't know where to start. So I'm just gonna start <laughs> and we'll see how it goes, eh? From the maze, broke my head for days. Got a nice little burn pile up there. Uh, pleased with how effective the cleaver is. Uh, I am pleased. You can't go quite as steep an angle because the edge is so much thicker than the other cleaver. But I love cleavers. It's more power delivered to more of the edge more effectively, which is cool. Um, I still have about 20 minutes left of chopping to do, but I've cleared nearly this whole area, so I'll move on to some other stuff. But very, very good experience overall, especially considering it's pot metal. It's husk metal. <laughs> um, but a very good experience. We'll see how the edge held up. I've been using this old dried out one that's really hard as a kind of a chopping block, moving the branches over to it and just smashing through them. And that's been really satisfying.
Okay, 90 minutes complete. Cleaver out. Condor scout axe in. 90 minutes of chopping. Let's do this. Okay, timer just went off for the Condor Scout Axe. Uh, initial thoughts. It's, uh, it's, this is an amazing little axe. It is so amazing. I love the swing of it. I love how it feels. I think the way that I've reprofiled it, the angle of attack that is optimal is much steeper. And what I'm finding is I think that thin behind the edge means you can go steeper and it will bite deeper. But the cleaver, which is thicker behind the edge, but thinner overall was actually better for putting stuff all against a chopping block and like separating two things and, and splitting them two directions. This had a lot better bite. The cleaver had better like pop and uh, splitting action against a solid surface. Okay, most of you guys know the drill. I was gonna do a quick cleanup, get the sap, get the chips off the edge, the wood chips, and the gunk, and then we'll do two strokes on the hanging kangaroo strop, and then it's off to the best machine. Three tests each in the sweet spot, and the one with the lower average wins. Anyway, let's get into it. I should mention I'm only going to test kind of the portion of this cleaver that's right in the strike zone. I'm not going to do the tip and I know that's different from my ordinary convention but the reason why is because I want to test a similar amount of edge length and this axe only has three inches of edge length. So I tried to focus my use down to about three inches of edge length on this cleaver and that's where I'm going to test. Now the reason for that being is that with more edge you obviously have an advantage of having more areas which remain sharp over time but I want to sort of nullify that because I want to see actually which steel performed best. All right, let's get to it. Unfortunately, um, my best testing machine has just chosen this moment to run out of the cutting media that just pulled clean out. So I'm gonna have to pause the video and go get some more and load the thing back up. I'll be right back. All right, got it reloaded. Let's finish this up. Good reading for the first test, 209 from the, Scond the Condor Scout Axe. It's quite good. All right, here we go.
Okay, I've just quickly averaged the results and the Elephant King Cleaver came in at 336 grams. Now, I'm not sure if that's the best score so far in the series, but it is among the best score. The top silent hero was 339, and I can't remember what the Kmart cleaver was, but it was right around there, like 342 or something like that. So my goodness, the tactical knives must be shaking in their boots. <laughs> this thing would be the victorious champion, but the Condor Scout Axe has delivered an unprecedented result of 262.7 grams average, 262 grams. I wonder if it's still shaving. Oh my gosh, guys, it is still shaving. Not beautifully, but it is taking off a good volume of hair. That is wild. I don't know if you can see that hair. Sorry, I'm so bad with showing shaving. I don't know how to do it. If you guys have tips on how to film hairs coming off of arms, I would love to hear about it. Anyway, so the Condor Scout Axe will be moving on to the next bracket of the tournament. Let's do a paper test here. Oh yeah. Ooh, very, very clean. Nearly nearly push cutting like it wants to bind up a little bit with push cutting but very nice that's the best edge so far and it's only got three inches of edge so this area took 100 percent of the beating that's crazy no no spots that i noticed that there's an actual chip so very 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 cool let's check out the elephant king cleaver Here we are. Wow! <laughs> Guys, I have to say, this tournament is blowing my mind because the hard and tactical and carbon steels are not outperforming the cheap stainless. Guys, this is 1810 stainless. Can somebody tell me how this could be? I fundamentally don't understand. But it's really cool, but I just oh there is a, there is a chip in this right there. Yeah, okay. So it does have a chip, <laughs> but one chip, oh two chips it looks like two chips and a clean slice like that puts it on par. There's a definite chip, puts it on par with like the top silent hero. Like this is what the edge felt like on the top silent hero. That's crazy. Condor Scout Axe proceeds to the next level of the bracket in this tournament. This is the tournament results so far. Thanks heaps for tuning in. If you want to see the last test, which was the Tops to Home a Field Knife versus the Cold Steel Recon Scout, you can find that right here. Very, very interesting results and always surprising. I hope you guys had a good time. For the rest of you, I'll say peace out from the Home Slice. Y'all take care. Bye.